Hey, this is Nicholas with the Backyard Tardis here with some more adventures in locksmithing. Um, another one of the ones that has been keeping me busy and why you haven't seen a whole lot of videos lately. Um, out at a campground, um, out here on the lake, you saw maybe some videos of that earlier in the year. Um, well, I'm back there because they had somebody break in, um, suspected maybe a previous employee because... They went straight to the maintenance room, broke in, got the box of keys, and then of course, there's all the keys that I rekeyed everything to are in that box, but it's been kind of crazy. So I'm out here, in addition to having to redo all the locks, we've got a bunch of keys that they only had one of, and so I'm having to either get stuff off or make replacement keys. I've done some old pickup trucks, an old dump truck, water truck, different things like that. Um, and then some padlocks. So, you know, some big hefty padlocks, but guess what? This and this pretty much takes care of any padlock. And if that doesn't work, then that does draw out the cylinder. So one way or another, get out the padlock. I'll just use bolt cutters on this one, American padlocks. They're you know, nice, sturdy padlocks, better than master. They do have their weakness points. Um, this one actually had a key broken off in it, so it couldn't, that couldn't be manipulated. But bolt cutters, for as heavy duty as the body of this lock is, I mean, um, it, it is hardened. But if you have big enough bolt cutters, that doesn't matter. Um, these, you know, they protect against bolt cutters. But, uh... Just went through that with the Dremel. Quick and likewise, really big, impressive ball. Um, now, Master Lock makes one that just goes underneath and kind of expands and locks in there, but they have a really easy to pick lock uh, on on that part. And so this design, this lock was so gummed up, I thought, well, I'll pick it. That'll be easy. Um, it would not pick. It, I couldn't get the the pins to move at all. Um, no play in there. It's so caked with dirt. Uh, so this just has this that locks over the top. Like so. Just dremeled through that. And then I still couldn't quite get enough maneuverability. So I just did a little bit of a cut there. And was then able to get enough manipulation to pry it to get it to move over the hump. And uh, so that's that. Uh, but this has just been kind of crazy. Um... Before when I had this project, I did it over the course of three months, and I didn't have making all these car keys and that kind of stuff, and now it's in a situation where they've had about $50,000 worth of stuff stolen, including one of the Ranger pickups, um, a brand new one. They want it done yesterday, trying to just jam that all in, and of course all the regular calls are coming in. And of course as a campground, it's, it's off the beaten path, so I am taking... Um, you know, dedicating whole days to here and then afterwards going and doing all those other jobs after hours if people are willing to wait, which unfortunately my competition seems to be equally busy. And so because of that, um, sometimes, and they're not willing to work after hours. So, um, a lot of people are willing to wait, even if it's something you wouldn't think you'd wait for, you know, if you call 10 o'clock in the morning, I'm locked out of my house. There are some people who, you know, 6 o'clock, they still haven't been able to get somebody, and they're taking me up on my doing it after hours. And they've just been chilling at a friend's house all day. But that's going to... I'll probably show another video showing the, the lake, and just, you know, at least it's a nice place to work. I got good weather, uh, enjoying, and, uh, uh, yeah. So with that, hope uh, everybody is enjoying their day, and I'll catch you in the next video.